briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1985, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit heard the case United States v. Brown, which focused on the limitations of expert testimonies in court. The case involved two men, Ronald Brown and Gregory Valentine, who were arrested and charged with conspiring to distribute and possess heroin, as well as distribution of heroin. The charges were based on an undercover operation in Harlem, led by Officer William Grimble, who pretended to be an addict and purchased heroin from the defendants. Brown was convicted of the conspiracy charge, placed on probation, and the distribution charge was dismissed. The case is now on appeal with Grimball testifying as an expert that Brown acted as a steerer for drug dealers to avoid getting caught. However, the appellant argued that Grimble was not qualified to provide such testimony. The court ultimately held that the evidence against Brown was sufficient for his conspiracy conviction, affirming the decision. Grimble's testimony did not harm the government's case, and Brown's participation in the conspiracy was evident even without Grimble's expert opinion. The case highlights the importance of expert testimonies, but illustrates the limitations when it comes to addressing a defendant's mental state or condition needed to commit a crime. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.